Hey guys, you missed me? I missed you. I say this all the time. But hey, my family, my YouTube family, how are you? Long time no see, huh? Unless you follow me on social media. But if you don't, long time no see. Yeah, I know. I don't even remember the, the last time that we have seen each other. But we've seen each other now. So I figure since I've been going a lot, this is Too Faced, Born This Way in the Color Shop, Chai by my auntie Jackie Ina. I'm just doing two, two pumps of that. But I figured, um, since we haven't chatted in a while, I figure I'd do a life update. Um, the brush that I'm using is BH Cosmetics Kabuki brush. I've had this for a while, and if you have seen my videos, you have seen this brush time and time again. Oh, before I get into the life update, I just wanted to shout out Shakira Sean for the hoodie. This is the hashtag Stay Lit Hoodie in white and gray. Um, I definitely am a big fan of brands with purpose, and with this brand, is that like we are like the light in a world of darkness. Um, like the uh, Bible tells us to be the salt and and the light in the earth. I like it. It's very it's very comfortable, very warm. So I will leave all of her information down in the description box so you can get one yourself. You can purchase one and be a part of the light movement, okay? So what I'm doing now, I'm just, you know, highlighting and concealing a little bit. Pause. Look at, look at my hair. Hang time. <laughs> it's been growing nice and healthy, so that's really good. Okay, so life update. I don't even know where to begin. I guess I'll start um, with saying that I got my first car. But I do have car notes, but like I went through like the whole entire like um, getting a car process by myself. It, it was like my first big girl purchase. So I'm just very, very excited, very thankful to the Lord for allowing me to get a car. I began making my car note payments plus the insurance um, in October. I got the car in August and God really was like with your girl. He gave me a lot of like an abundance a favor and blessings because I pay my tithes but that's a whole different story and it like seriously was not like a like it was like it wasn't a hurt piece when it was time to pay like honestly <laughs> but I set up like an auto pay so which is which is very very good um if you can try to set up like an auto pay because it just takes away the responsibility of having to physically go in and like like um make payments and stuff it just it just <laughs> like automatically um takes it out i honestly didn't even know that the payments were being um taken out which is good i, I would say that it is good um so yeah i'm just i'm just happy because i have like because i have a full-time job that is a uh, with Traffic, it's about an hour away from my house, okay? That's like insane, okay? It's crazy. Um, yeah, and I spent, but I got my job in February of this year. So from February to August, August 10th, I was literally going to work every day on the train and the bus so i took a bus and a train every single day whether it was pouring outside whether it was it like it it was crazy and i used to be so tired like so tired and i used to like 
cry all the time because I ugh, it's that 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 life is not for me. Public transportation, like I could do it because because I did it for like almost like a whole entire year. But was I happy? No. I have been saving for for a car since I um got my job. And like every time that I got paid, so I would pay my tithes and then I put money in my savings and things like that because um, I figure like if I can just put some money aside for things that I want to like achieve like like um, to have my own car and stuff like that that it would be um, beneficial to just be um, disciplined enough to be doing saving so that's what I did that's what I did and yeah I just I say to say to say so it wasn't until over the summer like a uh, week before I actually got my car I was waiting for my train to come after I had gotten off of work right and I was waiting for the train with my sister and a homeless lady came up to us and was asking us for like like she had been like harassing everybody like literally when I say like in everybody's face and like the, the train that I catch if you are from the Philadelphia Delaware County whatever the tri-state area then you know about the regional rail basically and that was what I took I took a train that that um, was a part of that and because it wasn't like like um like um the market Frankfurt line like whatever you know so I didn't have no problem taking that it just was expensive <laughs> but um yeah I didn't really have no problem taking that but the people that take that train they um you know yeah so the homeless lady was really like harassing people to the point where she was in their face and they would like it, like it was a girl that like she was asking her for money she literally ran and not only ran she ran off of the platform down the steps and was like mm -mm, like i'm not doing this i was like oh my god but anyway, on this on this particular day, she came up to me and my sister, and it was asking us for money, and we said that we did not have any because we really did not have any. And she was not trying to hear it, so I'm like, oh, <laughs> like there there isn't anything that um we can do, or like whatever. So we didn't feel safe personally because like she just like everywhere that we went she kind of was like um <laughs> like I'm walking towards us like so <laughs> I didn't feel safe and I was pretty cool with one of the security people or like whatever so um so yeah I kind of was like getting closer to him shout out to Mr. Nate um, I, like if you ever watch this, thank you for the, all of our conversations. Thank you for always um, looking out for me and my sister. Hey man, shout out to you. But anyway, so so we didn't feel safe, and I was like, nah, bro, like we're not about to sit here and like have her just like all up in our mitt until our train came. So so then we started talking to him and stuff, and like he was like um, telling her like. Like um, you gotta go. Like um, whatever. You have to, <laughs> you have to get out of here. Long story short, she freaking told us that when he's not there, she is gonna set our effing hair on fire. Right? I'm like, oh my god. Literally, like, I don't know. She just really creeped me out. Like, really creeped me out. So I'm like, oh nah. And like, I tell this story to like a lot of people in the end. <laughs> They'd be like, what? Because if, because if um, that was me, what? I would have pushed her off the tracks. Or like, I would have said something to her. Or, or like, all this stuff. But it just was in that moment that I was like, very thoroughly creeped out. But also, that was the push that I kind of needed for me to go to like the car dealership and get my car. Because <laughs> I was like, I'm, I am not going to catch the train anymore because, no, what if... 
What if I run into her again? Then she gonna set my hair on fire. I'm not tired for that. So yeah, I got my car and her name is Rosie. She's a nice red joint. She's real red. She's real cute. She's a 2017. It's 2017. Cause uh, I made like a video and I sent it to like um, some of my friends and stuff. And in the video, I was like super, super emotional. Cause it was like when I first got my car. And I was like, oh my gosh, but I just got a friend. I got a, I got a, a 27 um, Toyota and and they were like a 27. I was like, oh, I meant to say a 2017 um, Toyota car. I'm crying right now, but I'm sitting in my car. <laughs> Woo! It is a 27 Toyota Corolla. Um, yeah, and it is my car, like. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. And so now it's like a whole entire joke. Like, oh my gosh, you got a 27 car. I'm like, okay. <laughs> um, what else is new? Oh guys, guess what? I'm in grad school. Ooh. Your girl is in grad school. That's crazy because that was never the plan. <laughs> that was never, when I say never, the plan I didn't even like I like definitely knew that I like wanted to do undergrad that isn't that isn't anything that's like new but school school has never been something that I enjoyed like I didn't care to get, get my master's or nothing like I just really I didn't care but for the career that I want it's better to have to have a master's um, degree and just like and just like a higher um, concentration in the field that I want to be in. So yeah, I am currently a preschool teacher, but I would really love to get in, like to be a part of a district and like be a, be. A, and be like a kindergarten teacher, which is kind of the same thing, but you get better um, benefits for sure. And more like resources and like support and stuff like that. Preschool teachers don't really get the props that they deserve. I'm just, I'm just gonna be honest with you. Like in every kind of capacity, we don't get the props that we honestly, truly deserve, okay? We, we do a lot of stuff. For like um, for y'all kids, we do a lot of things that are not even assigned to our job requirement, and we do not get the the praise that we deserve. Okay, I'm just going to say that I decided that I didn't want to stop working a full time job, so I am still doing that. I decided that I didn't want to stop being a part of my job so I am in school online which is hard that is crap to do um but hey you have to do what you have to do and it's something that I had to do because I didn't want to stop like <laughs> like um making money that <laughs> <laughs> mm -mm. Didn't want to stop doing that, so gotta do what you gotta do. So I am in grad school online at a school called Grand Canyon University in Phoenix, Arizona. Uh, it's it is a Christian based school, which I didn't which ugh, which I didn't even know at first but yeah it is a christian based school they have a lot of different programs but i am in the early childhood education program so when i come out i will be a certified pre-k through four teacher and i will have my master's degree oh yeah just pray because it really is not 
something that is easy. It's, it's, it's very hard. Um, the lashes that I'm using are House of Lashes Iconic Lashes, but the, it's, the, it's the Iconic Lights. These are the more natural ones. I kind of want to get just the, um, just the regular Iconics too. But I don't know. And, and I can't find my good lash glue from from Tarte. I, I like the Tarte Tardis lash glue, but I can't find it. So I'm currently using Duo, which I hate. I hate Duo lash glue with the passion. I actually hate it. <laughs> but yeah. Um, uh, what else is new? Honestly, those those are like the two major things that I'm in grad school and I have my own car now. Um, yeah, nothing else is, nothing else really new. Um, I went back to my school for homecoming. That was cool to just to see people that I haven't seen, like, since I pieced out of there in December of last year. Um, what else is new? I don't know. I don't know. I'm still out here single. <laughs> Um, I don't know, child. My makeup business, Marguerite on the Beat, is doing very, like, ugh, very well. God is blessing. I'm grateful. October, I was booked every weekend. Like, what? Every single weekend, it was tons of weddings and all kinds of stuff, bruh. All kinds of stuff I was doing. Ooh, look at me. But yeah, so Marguerite on the beat is doing very well. I am just trying to get my life, trying to balance life. You know, I'm doing good, but between both of my jobs, like being being a being a makeup artist and being a teacher, having a social life is pretty limited honestly truly so that's like another thing that i'm trying to um fix because i'm like geez like i don't really go out that much which which i'm not saying that like i'm the type of person that like needs to go out because i'm actually very comfortable being by myself and being at home like very comfortable almost too comfortable so i just feel like i need to just go out and like do things and make some friends or like whatever because i'm just like <sighs> oh i forgot to add my highlight this is really new nothing else is really new like i said your girl still single out in these streets am i mingling no <laughs> I kind of thought I was, and I was like, I don't, I don't really know about this. <laughs> so I'm back, and I'm talking to nobody. I don't know. I don't, I don't got time for people. Okay. I don't. Um, I'm, I'm just going to use some Urban Decay D Slick. Watch. Watch my hair. Hold on. All right, man. I'm done. I'm done. I I just wanted to do something quick. Like this is like very very quick and very simple, natural ish kind of. So that way I could just talk and say what I had to say. That's it. Thank you. If you have made it all the way to the end, thanks for watching. I love you guys so much and I appreciate you each and every one of you guys. I really do every single one of you guys i appreciate you and hopefully i can seriously do some more videos like yeah but until next time i will see you later bye